Hey all, so in this video we're looking at uh, the sum and difference of two cubes. And so we got a couple of formulas here to memorize. Um, I think of it more of it as a pattern than the formula. I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, but you can also just kind of memorize it and plug the little pieces in and it'll come out right every time. Um, you do have to know these to factor cubes. You're not going to be able to get from here to here without someone basically showing you how it works. Um, simply because you don't have enough math yet to drive this for yourself. So it is one that you just have to kind of learn. Um, same as the last section, here's a list of the common cubes you're going to run into. So you're going to see numbers like 1, 8, 27, 64, 125, 216, probably nothing bigger than that. Um, <clears throat> and it's going to break down to the numbers on the other side, just like in, um, in the last section with special products. So let's see how these work with this formula. Um, so one thing I'm gonna, before I go on to the actual problems, let me talk about the signs in the formula. The pattern, the kind of where things go, to me that's just sort of a pattern and I'll show that to you. Um, the trickier part for me was remembering how to remember the sign changes. And so what I have is that the first sign is always the same as whatever it started as. The second sign is always opposite whatever the first sign was. And the third sign is always positive. So for whatever whatever reason, I can remember same, opposite, positive, SOP, um, but I can't remember the signs. So this is kind of my little trick for doing that. So here we have a minus, so then it starts off same, and the next sign is opposite, and the last sign is positive. So that pattern is the same in both formulas. So that kind of helped me uh, learn the sign changes on those. So, what do the problems look like? Um, let me have this about there so I can point at the formula while I do one. So, basically, this is, um, actually, I'll just write that underneath. So, this is like our a cubed plus b cubed. And so, the formula goes a plus b and then a squared minus ab plus b squared. And so same, opposite, positive. Um, this is a lot like the special products one uh, from, that was section uh, 5.4. Let's see. Yeah, I have it right here. So it looks a lot like these formulas. Um, the difference is there's no two. So this one, no two. This one has a two. That's why this one never factors further. So this is where it's going to stop every time. That's where the formula stops there. But it looks a lot like these. So then you end up wanting to try to do this to it, which you shouldn't do. Um, so believe the formula. The formula is right. You're just going to want to go with it. Um, up here, so if a cubed is just 125x cubed, then plane a is going to be 5x. So it's just like we did with the squares, but now it's cubed. So 5 times 5 times 5 makes 125. Um, and then the 27, that was, um, when we see 27s, we're going to think 3s, because 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. So that's going to break down to a 3. <clears throat> so I could, you know, plug 5x squared minus 5x times 3, because that's just a and b, and then plus 3 squared. For me, I think of it kind of more as a pattern. It's the exact same math, but I just think I take the first one and I multiply it by itself, because that's what a squared is. So 5x times 5x, 25x squared, and then multiply these two together. I'm just kind of using this as my visual cue to how to fill in the rest. So 5 times 3 will be a 15x, and then the one on the end, 3 times 3 for 9. So one more time, I go 5x times 5x, 25x squared. 5 times 3, 15x, 3 times 3, 9. So I just kind of think of it as that pattern, square this, multiply them together, square this. And that's how I fill in the second piece. Um, and again, you could write out the formula and plug this stuff in and get to the exact same spot. But that, for me, was easier to memorize. Okay, for number two, <clears throat> so this piece is going to break down to... 2x because 2x times 2x times 2x gets me back here and likewise this will be a 5z and I just take whatever's here 2x times 2x 4x squared multiply these two together with the opposite signs so there'll be a 10xz and 5z times 5z or 25z squared uh, this one, so the deal here, it's it's just written backwards. So if you change it around to this, it makes way more sense. Um, so then you kind of see, because the, the B is supposed to be the negative one, so if you just write it in the other order, it's much easier. 
So this will go 3x and then minus 4. 27 breaks down to 3. 64 breaks down to 4s. And then just square this and get 9x squared. Multiply them together and get 12x. And then 4 times 4 for 16. Um, here you can see the cubes, but these aren't cubes, and that kind of gives you the heads up. There's a, a, a GCF. So we go 2 and then 125x cubed plus y cubed. <clears throat> From there, bring the 2 along and then 5x plus y. And then just the deal, so 5x times 5x, 25x squared, 5xy will be our middle opposite sign and then y times y for y squared. Okay, and these last four I would have you guys try. So this would be x plus 2. 8 breaks down to 2x cubed breaks down to x. x times x, x squared. 2 times x, so minus 2x in the middle. 2 times 2 makes 4. Uh, that one looks like there's a GCF of 2, so that's going to get us down to... 27x cubed minus 8. And now we can see our cubes. So that'll be 2 and then 3x minus 2. 3 times 3, 9x squared. Uh, 3 times a 2 will get us a plus 6x. 2 times 2 for a 4 on the end. Um, here's the one that's like the one I did that's written kind of backwards. So that'll be 10x cubed minus uh, 1,250. And then let's get a 10 out of there because that'll make it look better. And then I can see my cubes. So I got 10 and then x minus 5, x squared plus, um, oops, 5x, and then plus 25. Again, same opposite positive on the signs. And then this last one would go uh, 4x plus 3y. So 64 breaks down to 4, 27 breaks down to 3, and then 4x times 4x, 16x squared. 4 times 3 is going to give us a 12, oops, minus, minus 12xy, and then 3y times 3y will be 9y squared. And then again, this piece looks like it factors more, but resist the urge, the formula's right, and so just leave it right here.